Of course, one of the more important aspects of this is going to be uh, gun placement. Now, if I put it here, I won't be able to get the gas tank. Unless I can get a tank low enough to fit underneath the gun. Of course, I could go with wing tanks. Um, firing through the propeller. Because here in Canada, fully automatic is illegal, so I have to go semi-automatic. So I'll use a uh, reversed timing gear, where when the propeller blade clears the barrel, it'll actually engage the gun to fire two or three, probably two or three rounds before the next blade comes around. And then nothing will happen, but instead of the, the uh, timing gear, interrupting the firing of a full auto it'll be uh, causing the semi-auto to fire instead it'll be doing just the opposite so uh, I'll be taking the scope off I think if I mount this properly I'll be able to see through the stock sights of the, the firearm and of course worse comes to worse I'll just have to mount it up on top of the wing but uh, I kind of like this spot. I'll, maybe I can build the uh, the uh, cowling here, so when it comes up halfway, um, I'll need the bullet of the empty shells. Uh, I can either fall down in here. I don't want them coming out because they'll just come back and hit me in the face. But uh, I'll see how we make out. So I can reach up plenty easy and. Uh, in this position and uh, once it's fixed in place of course and cough the uh, rifle yep. and uh, it should work this is where having a, an airplane with the engine in the back is a big advantage doesn't interfere with your gun <laughs>